Hey guys, what's up? It's Katie Austin here and welcome back to my channel. Today we are packing for a very fun vacation. So I wanna take you guys through exactly what I pack, how I pack. We're gonna hack your pack. We are going to start with the basics. I always love doing the basics first to make sure that I have room for the pieces that I possibly could bring. So let's get to packing. When I'm packing, I always start with my shoes just to make sure I have room for all of them and make sure they're at the bottom of the suitcase. First up, these are my favorite shoes right now at the moment. They are kind of getting scruffed up. They used to be like super white. But basically why I love them so much is they're great for walking. They're good for HIIT workouts as well. Plus what I like to do on vacation is just like slip on some type of shoe. I actually like literally don't own sandals. So these are a great slip on shoe. They don't even require a lace right here, which I absolutely love. Next up, these are a little fancier, but we have a fancy night at the vacation, AKA a wedding. So these are the shoes that I am going to be wearing. I also feel like they're like pretty dainty enough that they won't take up a lot of room. Plus they are not black or white, AKA they can kind of go with both of my dress ideas. So I absolutely love them. They're from Steve Madden and they're so freaking cute. Last but not least, another pair of shoes that I'm going to bring are these white booties. I think they're perfect for summer because I want to do a night with like jeans or jean shorts. They're a little bit more casual than those Steve Madden heels. They are a little scuffed up. I think I've worn them so much, but that is why I want to bring them is because they're so comfy. I know exactly how they feel. I literally feel like I could run a mile in these as well. I feel like you always want like one nicer pair of shoes and then one pair of shoes that like you don't really care as much about to get ruined, if that makes sense on vacation. So I'm gonna bring these booties. They're actually from Princess Polly. They're still on the site. And again, I feel like they would go with a sundress or jeans. A little hack here, if you guys wear socks with your shoes, I don't really usually wear a lot of socks. Pretend you didn't hear that if you think that's gross. My best friend literally is so weirded out by me that I don't wear socks. I literally don't wear socks even with those tennis shoes. But you can wash them, that's the, good, that's the best part. A hack about your socks is that you guys can actually stuff the socks in your shoes so you guys can limit the amount of space. I literally don't wear socks, I'm disgusting. My first piece of clothing that I am putting in my suitcase is this cute, plain black set from GGC Bikinis. And why I absolutely love it so much is for a few different reasons. It's a great workout set, but it also can be like a cute little loungewear PJ set. Or you guys could even wear it out to dinner with a cute blazer or a sweater on top with some booties even. I really just think this set is really versatile. The biggest thing about packing in a small suitcase is bringing clothes and shoes that are versatile. So I think this black set right here doubles as a lot of different things. I can walk to breakfast in the morning and then get my workout in, in it. I can lounge in it. I also can dress it up with a blazer as well. So that is the first piece of clothing. I don't know if this is uh, TMI, but I'm bringing another pair of black shorts because I usually don't wear underwear with my leggings or my shorts. I find that you it's very restricting and you need to let yourself breathe. So I'm bringing another pair of shorts and these are my absolute favorite pair of shorts. They're from Lululemon, they're plain black. They are so freaking comfortable. I love how they're not too long too. I don't know about you guys, but I freaking hate biker shorts that go down to your knees. So the Lululemon ones are the perfect length. They're so comfy too. This next set is from Spiritual Gangster. I am obsessed with it. First up, they're super comfy, high waist leggings. Plus I feel like it's the perfect summer color as well. It's actually the only pair of leggings I am going to be bringing because I have shorts and I feel like it's gonna be hot outside. I like to wear shorts when it's really humid. These pair of leggings are super cute. I think it'll be great for a color for good content as well. What I also love about the matching top is that it can double as a crop top. I feel like it'd be really freaking cute with some jean shorts too, or just like jeans in general or like a cute skirt. It actually has a built-in sports bra, which is epic because then you don't need to wear a bra underneath it also makes the boobies look really nice. It's ribbed as well. It's just super freaking cute. So it's a great double as a sports bra and a crop top. Now time for dresses. I wanna start with this cute dress that I have not yet worn. It is from L Space. I'm so freaking excited to wear it. I just feel like it's so cute for either going to the beach or a night out, daytime or nighttime. It'll look a lot better when I have a little tan on my body as well. It's really cute because it's like that one shoulder style too. So it adds a little bit more flair. It's super comfy. It's like 
Honestly, a very, very nice material. So again, super versatile. You always want that versatility when you're packing. Plus, it doesn't take up that much space. So this is the dress that I'm gonna wear for the fancier night. It's inside out because, or is it? I don't even know. Looks very complicated here. We can actually superimpose a photo of when I wore it. Right here, I actually wore it to a red carpet event. I went to a movie premiere. It's like really easy, it's really light, so I think it's gonna be great for a wedding guest. The brand name is called Soroya. And so it's a great color. It's a perfect color for summer because I love green, but green can look a little fall wintry sometimes. So this is like a lighter silvery green. Also again with silk, um, especially if it's like a hot wedding, it's such a great way to make sure that like your body's still breathing. This is also very danceable. It has, has a slit as well. Plus it doesn't take up too much room in your bag. So this is the perfect wedding guest dress. If you sweat through a silk dress, get over it. I have no tips for that. You're human, you perspire. This next dress is new from Reformation and it is my all time favorite dress. And you're literally like, it's your all time favorite dress and you haven't worn it. Yeah, because I'm saving it because it's that freaking special. It's so cute. I have it actually in three different colors. That's how obsessed I am. Also, what I love about it so much is it has a stretch factor right here. So the back of it is really stretchy, so it's actually not too constricting. It makes your boobies look really nice and perky. Also, you guys can wear the sleeves up or down. Plus, I know it's long sleeve, and I know I'm saying I'm going to like a hot location, but like it's pretty airy. It's like a nice thin linen kind of material, so it's not too bad. It's a perfect color for summer. You know what this is really good for? This is the perfect dress if you are meeting the parents your boyfriend's parents for the first time. Going home to grandma's, it shows you are hot, it shows you are classy, you know? You, you wanna show both of those. Maybe not too much hot, but you know what I mean. Last but not least, I have a casual dress going on here. I just find this dress super easy, super fun, especially I can wear this with my tennis shoes is why I love it so much. It's really, really comfy. I got this on Vici Dolls and um, I love their site. They have so many freaking options, so sometimes it's like overwhelming. But this one, the brand is called Promessa. And I just think it's really cute because again, just like the other one, it could be great for at nighttime, during the day, it's a little, a little whole thing. I've worn this a few times and I love it, so I'm going to bring that. All right, next up. Now for the other bottoms that I am bringing. Look how freaking cute this skirt is. I'm obsessed with it. I just feel like it's so cute. Bright pink for vacation, kind of spice it up. Plus you can wear it even higher or even lower and then roll it. I've even worn it as a top before to feel a little spicy. Again, versatility is key, baby. So it takes up like no room either and it can be honestly a very fancy skirt too. I absolutely love it and I don't know where I got it from. I'm so sorry. Next up, I want just like a basic pair of jean shorts. I love these Levi's right here. During daytime to wear to the beach, I think these are perfect. You always need a really good pair of jean shorts. Last but not least, I wanted a pair of jeans, but I wanted a pair of jeans that screamed summer. I don't want like wintry jeans. So, I am obsessed with a two-tone look recently because I feel like I could just wear a cute white crop top with this with my booties and call it a night and it'll look a little bit more than just jeans and a basic white tee because I just feel like the two-tone steps it up a notch of your fashion game. Plus, what I love so much is this slit right here in the jeans, AKA you guys can see the booties, and it's a little more airy. These are not too tight of jeans at all. They're actually from Nasty Gal. I posted them to my Instagram, and I'm not kidding you guys, I think we like might have sold them out because I posted them so many times, but they're from Nasty Gal. They're still available. I got a, a size 36, whatever that means. Um, so I got a size 36. They're super, super cute and so comfortable. I love a two-tone jean. Next thing, tots. I will probably actually end up packing a little bit more than these, but at the same time, I'm just gonna show you some basics. I absolutely love this basic white crop tee. It's actually from my friend's line, Peyton. It's called Full Disclosure, and it's so freaking cute because it's amazing for both like running around if you're gonna work out, but I also wanna pair it with those jeans or even that cute skirt that I showed you guys. So a basic white crop tee is so important. Again, that's from Full Disclosure. Another basic white little crop top is this one. Another one of my friends, Allegra, created this one from Uncle. So I'm gonna wear that with jeans or again, that cute skirt or the jean shorts. Then to go on top of either that last shirt I showed you guys or just on its own, I always love a nice linen striped 
allow us like this to take on vacation. It's like so iconic to wear on vacation with like jean shorts. You always look so classy. It's from Beachy Dolls again. So I just love this. Plus, I just think you could wear this, which is a cute bikini underneath. I don't even think you need shorts sometimes. Spice it up, baby. Jean shorts could look really cute with this with my white booties as well. So again, versatility is key. Plus this can double as a sweater. Then, Bikinis, so the fact that I'm only bringing two bikinis, you know what, it's a weekend trip, you don't need seven bikinis, you only need two. I'm literally there like full days, I'll be there like one full day. So yeah, I think uh, two bikinis is fine. So the idea that I'm going for here is actually one bikini that's a little fancier and one bikini that is a little more casual and girly cute. This first one is super cute. I actually wore it to Coachella. I love, love, love the gold bands across it. I feel like it just makes it so fancy. It looks so classy. Plus this style right here is so in. It's kind of like 90s-esque. And also the style of this top when it's on, it like fits differently than a regular bikini. Then the second bikini I'm bringing is actually one of my best friends who made it, Elizabeth Turner. She made a line with B Swim. This is a part of her first line. And so the reason I'm bringing this one, I just feel like it's so different than the fancier one. I feel like this is like girly cute style. Plus what I love about this bikini is I know it has sleeves right here, but you guys can actually take them off or put it down so you guys can get that full tan on your chest as well. I love these two bikinis. I feel like they're very different. Girly cute, hot, sexy, trendy. Two bikinis, baby. And next up, I always pack my Ritual Vitamins. Sometimes when I'm traveling, I feel like I get out of a routine. So whatever makes me feel like I am most in my routine while traveling to a new location or in a hotel room, I want to bring with me. So Ritual is something that I take every single day. It's a multivitamin for women. So you're getting all those vitamins, all the nutrients to your body, especially at those times Again, like we're out of our habit, we're out of our routine, we're not normally putting in the things in our body that we would when we're traveling. So ritual is definitely a ritual when on the go. And I actually want to just read a stat to you guys off my phone right now, why I love the essential from Ritual so much. Over 97% of women, which is a lot of people, aged 19 to 50 are not getting enough vitamin D from their diet, which is crazy, you guys. And 95% of us are not getting their recommended daily intake of key omega-3s, especially for someone like me who does not eat seafood very often or at all. I need my omega-3, so that's why Ritual is so important to me. I feel like stats just like are straight facts, so that's why they're so important to read. Anyways, the results were the essential women, 18 and up, this multivitamin right here has helped shown the increase of vitamin D levels by 43% and omega-3s DHA levels by 41% in just 12 weeks, which is kind of crazy. If y'all want to try Ritual, I have a special deal for you guys. Just for you guys, they're doing 10% off. So if you guys go to ritual.com slash AustinAF, you guys can get this sweet deal of 10% off Ritual. All right, last but not least, we're almost last but not least. I am going to bring here are a few other things that I'm going to bring. I am obsessed with bucket hats these days. They're so freaking cute for summer. Plus they actually match like both of these bikinis is why I'm bringing this exact one. So I'm trying to limit the amount of sun that I get to my face. I turn 28 and all of a sudden I have like melasma all over my face. It's like a built-in mustache at all times. If you guys have that, honestly, it's awful. It literally sucks. I have dark spots on my forehead and between my eyebrows and my mustache. Literally the worst, so I'm trying to limit the amount of sun on my face. Definitely need this bucket hat. I feel like it like 360 clears my head right here, which is great. Then I'm bringing a t-shirt. I'm going to bring this shirt that carries a lot of meaning for me. I literally travel looking horrific. For you guys who travel looking good, it's like jeans or heels or anything, or even with makeup on, God bless y'all's hearts because traveling Comfy is absolute key. So I'm literally just gonna wear these sweatpants. Plus they're kind of like bulkier sweatpants and they're thicker as well. They're really comfy, but I don't wanna pack them. I wanna wear them because they're like my travel sweatpants. Plus it's always cold on planes and I'm just always cold in general. So I'm wearing this shirt. I really like t-shirts that are obviously like a lot bigger, but this one holds a lot of meaning. I am a huge Warriors fan. 
Woohoo, girl Steph Curry. So I'm wearing this warrior shirt. I probably have around 50 warrior shirts. So this is just one of them. This is for the home opener of this year's season. Then I actually am going to wear the jacket that I'm bringing, the only jacket on the trip. It's just like a nice light jean jacket, but again, it's cold on planes. So I'm gonna wear it because it's probably not gonna fit in my tiny away suitcase right there. This is literally my plane outfit. If you guys ever see me in an airport and you're like, Wow, she's not cute. It's like, yeah, I'm not cute in Air Force. Last but not least, I always bring a neck pillow. Yes, I am that girl. I love a neck pillow on flights, especially if they're over like two hours. I love to try to sleep on them and they actually like really, really work. I also love to switch it this way too and just like rest my chin on it. That's the elite way. Then last but not least, I feel like I'm saying last but not least a million times. This is really last but not least. I wear my sleep mask. I love a good sleep mask. I actually had to transfer to this black sleep mask recently. I stole it from my boyfriend. I used to have a really cute pink one and I don't know what happened to it. I think I got an eye infection and I threw it away. This is my boyfriend, so I'm using it. And I love a sleep mask, A, on planes, because no matter what's going on, who's sitting next to you, you guys can just block out everything. Sometimes people on planes are dying to talk to you and this is a great way to tell them to shut the F up. Anyways, also I love them so much when I get to the hotel, you just don't know the blind situation. Maybe you want to take a nap midday. Eye mask is absolute key, especially a silk one as well. So you guys, that's it. I feel like I'm out of breath right now. I'm sweating because that was a workout in itself. I'm gonna take this jacket off. I also feel like it is so much easier to pack than unpack. I will get back from this vacation and <laughs> All this stuff will still be sitting in my suitcase for about two weeks. So if you guys like this video, make sure to subscribe right here to my channel. I love you guys. And plus, if you guys have like any other essentials that you guys usually pack or packing tips, let us know in the comments down below. I'm not an elite packer. This is just what I do. So let us know if you guys have any tips or advice. I love y'all. I'll see you next week.